Hey guys, it's Pure Venom here. Just wanted to get, get another video out for you guys. Like I told you guys, I'm going to be doing the best I can. Uh, three videos a week is what my goal is. If not, I'll be close to two. Um, also, I have been doing the live streaming. I did that on, I believe it's either Saturday or Friday uh, last week. I will also be posting that in the link below. So definitely take a look at it. It's kind of funny. Um, the only thing is, is that you don't get to hear the other guys' voices. Uh, I am working on trying to get that fixed currently at the moment with the Elgato capture software. Now, if anybody's ever used it, um, please message me and let me know exactly if I can pull that audio from Xbox One. Now, I'm trying to go through uh, online reviews and things like that. Also, uh, forums to make sure that, you know, I'm not doing anything stupid on my end. Um, so I'm definitely trying to take a look and see what exactly is going on with everything uh, for the live streaming portion of it. But we had a great time on Friday. Uh, it was about, what, I think either four or five of us where we were just going to town on Capture the Flag. Yeah, we were all yelling at each other because uh, doing stupid stuff. But at the end of the day, we did win out a few games. I think we only lost one out of that whole stint of an hour. So it wasn't that bad of a game. Uh, where I do my live streaming, uh, because for some odd reason, currently right now, Twitch does not want to play nicely with me. Uh, so I'm just Twitch. I'm just running my uh, live stream right through YouTube. Um, after the, uh, I do the YouTube uh, push out uh, for the live stream, it just goes directly to the channel, so it automatically uploads. So if you guys don't or are not there. Um, you can just click on the video, let it, and just let it play through the background and watch it. Uh, it is all basically, you know, no unedited, fully, uh, fully let's go. Um, so it's just us having some fun. Also, uh, for the live streams, we will be doing those. I'm gonna be trying to do those every Thursday and Friday. I have finally fi fixed all the kinks. It will hopefully be done if it's on a Thursday, anywhere between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And then also on a Friday, if I decide to do that, it will be any time between 7 to 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, as long as I'm not working or I don't have to study for class and things along those lines. But I will be trying to get those uh, live streams out to you guys. Also... I will be doing a actually a really good re, uh, review video on Android Marshmallow. Uh, that's Android 6.0 6 if you guys don't know about it. Uh, I have a Nexus 6 currently and I get literally all day battery life. Uh, it's probably the greatest update that Android's ever put out. Also, it's a lot lighter, cleaner, and meaner. I have no complaints with it at all. And for the other users that have Nexus 6s and have not... Uh, got the OTA or have not got the download um, I'll walk you through and show you exactly how to do it and everything uh, it's a very painless process uh, I found the Nexus root kit to be extremely easy the only thing I used ADB for was uh, factory unlocking my device and that's because it's a lot easier just to go through ADB uh, debugging to unlock the devices and things along those lines but I hope you guys, you know, are enjoying the uh, video and everything, especially with all the content that I'm going to be trying to push out. Uh, do plan on putting, you know, some PC stuff up there too. Uh, Battlefield, uh, Battlefront, not Battlefield. Uh, Battlefront, I actually was playing that at 4K and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I was like, wow, this looks like I'm actually on the planet and kind of surprised on how clean and how nice everything looked. Uh, at that higher resolution, I was expecting, since it's a console port, that it wasn't going to look as good. Now, of course, you know, there were some things that they could fix um, with the Battlefront stuff. Uh, Battlefront stuff. Uh, weapons, from what it seems like, the, the zoom-in times are just ridiculous. Um, also on Hoth, uh, pretty much you play with your backs against the wall the whole time. Unless you're playing with an actual crew of people, uh, 9 times out of 10... If you're uh, the um, oh god, I uh, can't even think the rebels. Um, you pretty much are losing that almost every single time. Those uh, AT ATs, so at ats, and also the um, imperial imperial walkers, um, they pretty much uh, dis go down and destroy everything in their path. But getting back to the gameplay now, this, I do have a few of these domination games where I was recording them by myself, um, and I think I won 
two out of the four or one out of the four, um, we were. I was just getting horrible teammates to help me out. I try to do the best I can, uh, especially you know trying to load up those kill streaks um, to make life a little bit easier. Now I know on this map I actually uh, got the spore. This is the first time I've ever got to play with that. Oh, uh, play with that, and it is just a just ridiculous uh, sorry for all the you know stuttering on that but it is just ridiculous it is probably the f funnest type of serum that they put in this game where you just go ham directly it's all insta kills and you just absorb everything so i think that goes on in the next like you know i think minute or two i'm not exactly sure on when that st when i got the spore but all i know is i hijacked it out of somebody's care package and it was the best thing I've ever uh, best thing I ever grabbed so um, but no I've been playing around with the bow lately um, since I do have the obsidian steed I just rolled over to 16th prestige and these ones here I think I'm for, uh, either I was at 14th prestige level 45 or level 46 I pretty much went on a binge of, uh, a couple days ago where it was just you know call of duty call of duty call of duty and prestige 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 since Black Ops 3 is coming, now also with Black Ops 3, I will be continuing the video streaming and also with all the video content. Um, I do hope that you guys do enjoy the videos. Uh, Lewis, I do have to go out there and say thank you very much, you know, especially for all your feedback and everything. I've been doing as best that I can, especially with the uh, recordings and color and all that other fun stuff. And you've been doing a great job as the you know, consumer of the product saying, hey, there's some shakiness going on on the YouTube stuff or, you know, hey, the audio needs to be a little bit better or the color, you know, things along those lines. I've been doing the best I can. And, Lewis, I do appreciate, you know, the feedback and everything. At least you're one of the few that give me some credible feedback here. Um, also, uh, I did decide I will be also doing a review on... Uh, one of the newer Microsoft Surface keyboards. Um, hopefully, I can get it. Um, I just have to be able to afford it. It's going to be the one with the fingerprint reader, so I will be pretty much, you know, having it over the shoulder cam, uh, letting it, you know, show you how Windows Hello works and things along those lines. Uh, I went to the actual Microsoft store, and it was pretty darn cool. I uh, kind of uh, was like, Microsoft, just here's my money. Take it, please. So... That's one of the big things. The keyboards are really nice. The new Surface 3 is actually pretty cool. Uh, it uses the Kinect sensor for the Windows Hello for facial recognition. So it doesn't actually store any files on the computer. It just recognizes your face just like how it does on the Xbox. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, besides all that, the Microsoft Band 2 uh, is actually a really cool device. Um, I'm actually kind of interested in getting it. I Since I run Android currently, I don't get to have all the f fancy features that all the Windows users can get. Um, so if you get a Windows phone, you get more capabilities and more options with it. Also, um, it is a fitness band. So, you know, if I decide, you know, I want to go work out, you know, I can keep my heart rate going, see what, it, see what that's at, uh, see how many calories I'm losing and things along those lines. Also, get my text messages and, you know, Facebook posts, Instagram, God knows what else. Uh, but besides all of that fun stuff, the coolest thing that Microsoft was able to do, uh, we all know how the Snapdragon 810 decides to thermal throttle itself because it is just one hot son of a bitch. Well, Microsoft came up with a solution. We put water cooling in a phone. Yes, I, you heard it here. It's water cooling in a phone. They did the same thing with the Surface Pro 4. Um, and also the Surface Book. I believe every single device is liquid-cooled. The only thing that would not be would be the Microsoft Band. Um, but I will explain more on this. Uh, I plan on doing a screen capture on all the devices and uh, doing a talk over on those and letting you guys know about all the basic information on the Surface Book, the Surface Pro 4, the Microsoft Band, and also, um, if I can get it out of my mouth, uh, the 950 and 950XL Lumia devices. I'm going to let the video play out here. There's only about another uh, 20 to 30 seconds left. But I do appreciate everybody uh, who's visiting the channel and watching the videos. It does definitely help me out. If you like, subscribe down below. Also, hit that like button because it does help me out. Besides all that, you guys have a great one. I will talk to you guys later in the week. Peace out.
take it. Majority unemployment. 